besides another one of my good friends, which uh, is the late Sam Hart. Well, we uh, hope you get out there on the track today. <laughs> no, Kyle Busch joined us earlier, and he mentioned the great Sam Ard, who was pretty much a legend in this series, yes, and he said the late, great Sam Ard. Sam, by the way, is still with us today. Where's the reaction after last weekend? Uh, I've talked to a couple other drivers. Harvick, even in the broadcast, mentioned that I did everything right. He said uh, during his in-car, when Rusty, you asked him about what he thought of it, and he said, uh, Brad anticipated where I've been going the whole race, and went at that point and I waited until the end of the zone to go and so he mentioned right there that I was in the right and I talked to Ricky Stenthouse earlier this week he said uh, or actually just in a driver's meeting he said that uh, the exact same thing I just waited until the end of the zone to go he saw that Brian Scott said the same thing a couple other guys so to me all the drivers were on my side except one and that was the one that didn't yeah. get busted for it yeah Kyle Busch threw you under the bus a little bit. We were talking about the restart <laughs> at Phoenix. He said, you said, he didn't do anything wrong. So let's hear your start of the story. What do you think? Well, I just assumed um, what happened. I, I hadn't watched it, but um, I just assumed what happened was uh, he'd been taken off at the second line, and then he went to the first. And that happens a lot at Phoenix. We've seen a lot of wrecks on the, on the restarts there because what happens is uh, where the restart line is, you, you come to the line, and the back half of the field can't really see the flag. So... Uh, you know, if, if it starts going, the accordion effect gets worse as it goes back because they think it, they need to be going and uh, wind up with a lot of bent-up hoods. So uh, I just figured that was what happened. I hadn't seen the, the second part of it. So, <laughs> so 